Welcome, everybody. My name is Adam Frey, and I'm the Global Category Manager for Software here at 3D Systems, and I want to thank you for joining today's webinar on the Scent Scanner. A few housekeeping items before we get started. As you may have noticed, all lines were muted upon joining the webinar. Therefore, please use the Q&A button on your screen to submit any questions as we go along. We will take some time at the end to address questions. Additionally, we will be recording today's webinar, and you'll be receiving a follow-up email with a link to the recording. Once again, thank you for joining us today, and I will now pass it on to Josh Kistner, the Product Manager for Scanning Hardware and Experiences at 3D Systems, as he will be leading today's demonstration. Josh, it's all yours. Thank you, Adam. As Adam said, my name is Josh Kistner, and I'm the Product Manager of our 3D Scanners and Scanning Experience here at 3D Systems. I work with the Digitization Business Unit outside of Washington, D.C. This group of engineers brings over 30 years of experience developing state-of-the-art X-ray film digitizers to our 3D scanning group, and we've tasked them to accelerate and advance both our haptic and 3D scanner lines for 3D systems. Today, we will focus on our Sense2 3D scanner, providing you an overview of the benefits and strengths of the scanner, as well as a set of amazing use case scenarios um, before giving you a demonstration video using the Sense2. And finally, we'll close with a Q&A session around our Sense product. For those of you who do not know, the Sense2 is a handheld short range 3D scanner with full HD color that captures and processes data in real time, generating a complete polygon mesh when finished speeding up the data acquisition process by over 60%. Uh, using HD color cameras and a highly sensitive infrared projector, the Sense2 scanning technology allows a user, uh, allows for a closer range scan and a higher resolution than previous devices produced by 3D systems. With all of this tech crammed into a small package, the Sense2 is a fast, easy to use, portable and practical full color 3D scanner that fits nicely into your business or academic institution portfolio of tools. We are keen to further developing the Sense product line and software. There are some new and exciting opportunities available to the market in the near future. Okay, so as I just mentioned, uh, the scanner collects and processes data in real time, making it fast and efficient. Another benefit of the scanner is that it is mobile ready for individuals on the go who need to scan objects out in the field. The Sense is the most robust 3D scanning software uh, in the market at this price point, and it will run just as effectively on a tablet as it will on a laptop PC. The scanner works great for capturing the human face and body as it lends itself to the ideal solution for creating uh, custom fittings for sports apparel, tailored clothing and accessories, studies on human factors, and props for movies or video games. The scanner is also ideal for capturing objects ranging uh, from eight inches to 36 inches in size. With this range in size, the sense is, an ex is excellent for accelerating the documentation process of artifacts, as well as speeding up the development process for new products. The data produced by the Sense Scanner works seamlessly with other CAD applications, such as Geomagic for SolidWorks or Geomagic RAT. With all of this bundled into one complete package, the Sense is an ideal scanning solution for small businesses on a budget or even large businesses in EDUs interested in a fleet of scanners to add to their portfolio. Okay, so some of the use cases for Sense. Uh, the Sense is commonly used to capture the human form to create custom seating components or seating environments centered around the human being. Because the Sense can be paired with a tablet, this enables the user to position the scanner where it needs to be to accurately capture complex geometries while the user maintains a visual of the screen at all times. This ability to freely maneuver the scanner while being able to see the data being collected is paramount to a successful scan. This makes capturing the customer data on site much faster and more efficient by reducing the need to rescan multiple times. For museums and archaeologists, the Sense provides a means to quickly capture data of rare artifacts both out in the field and within the museum's archive to make them publicly available in 3D through the museum's website. 
Many artifacts in the field are often uncovered, documented, and then buried again to preserve the history. Cases such as bone artifacts will start breaking down within hours once removed from its earthen enclosure. In this scenario, the speed of the census real-time data processing is essential to capturing the artifact well enough to study it at a later time. In other scenarios, many museums have more historical, historical artifacts in their archives than they do on the museum floor. Most museums use photogrammetry as the scanning method of choice. However, photogrammetry, while superior in mesh quality than our scent scanner, is much slower and very time consuming. For these users, the sense has proven useful to quickly capture the mesh data with a high resolution texture map, perfect for online viewing of the history. Once the queue for the photogrammetry lab is available, that same artifact is then captured using uh, the photogrammetry technique. This is often months or even years later after the original data was acquired by our sense scanner. In some cases, the texture map from the sense is used to texture a higher resolution scan using our geometric software, geometric graph software. This is due to all the engineering work that went into processing the texture maps in real time alongside the mesh data. Uh, for designers, they love the sense because it is efficient at capturing the general envelope of an object, which is ideal for visual effects artists needing to make custom fitted components or film props, or even packaging designers to safely ship those props to different sites. Many packaging designers rely on the sense when CAD data is unavailable to capture the general envelope of an object to create a cost-effective form-fitting case in a much faster time. Other designers use the sense to capture ideas during the research phase to be used in development. During the development phase, sense is often used to quickly capture form factor models for archiving. The sense removes the metrology queue and further speeds up the development time by not requiring a CAD model of every idea the designer may have. Having a, a virtual data in 3D is essential to communicating ideas across departments and different languages that are otherwise difficult to express in 2D alone. On the industrial level, sense is frequently used to create fixtures and support for manufacturing production where CAD models are not available for certain off-the-shelf parts. As we know, in manufacturing, anything you can do to speed up the production or reduce the strain of repeated body movements is always welcomed. In some cases, the fixtures are 3D printed. In other cases, the fixtures are sent for machining. It just really depends on the, on the part. Experience engineers often use the sense to capture the outer data of a casted part, particularly if the outer surface is a freeform surface. Then using common engineering and manufacturing principles, the engineer uses the scan data to create the internal geometry of the model, such as ribs, bosses, gussets, or even wall thicknesses. For applications where excess data will be removed in prospect, post-processing, sense is the perfect companion for such workflows where high accuracy data is not needed and will most likely be discarded either during the reverse engineering process or during post-processing, such as done with casted parts. For the EDU market, the sense is also used pretty extensively uh, in K through 12 curricula as a means to teach STEM programs in both mathematics and sciences. The sense is often used to teach students engineering principles, as well as sharpen their problem solving skills by encouraging them to use the sense to create innovative solutions to everyday problems. The sense also branches out into other studies, especially the arts, the studio arts and design programs, where uh, because it is an ex excellent tool to conduct form studies to bring uh, objects from the outside world and create them into unique art forms. Artists also use the sense to quickly capture ideas in 3D before they are lost in the design process. It also is great for budding designers to use as a means to catalog their design process for school projects. In the design world, 80% of the design work a designer will do involves redesigning an existing product. I've even seen our sense scanner speed up the ideation process for some designers as they use the 3D data of an existing product as an underlay for sketching ideas over, over top inside of Photoshop. In other studies, 
areas of studies, history departments, similar to museums and archaeology, frequently use the sense scanner to capture artifacts and use the 3D data to conduct group discussion. This extends to both higher education and K through 12, where the sense is used to sharpen the student's observational skills by capturing 3D data and then requiring the student to write a short paper or give a presentation or conduct a group discussion on the 3D artifact. And finally, curricula that involve 3D printing, there are two methods for generating content for printing. First, most common one is a CAD package. Uh, CAD applications tend to be expensive and require extensive training before the student is able to use them. The second method is using 3D scan data. Many of the school, schools rely on our sense scanner to capture 3D data whose sole purpose is to go to a 3D printer. The 3D data generated by our sense scanner is compatible with any 3D printer and the software was specifically developed to go from scan to print. There are specific tools in the sense software that allows the student to easily edit the mesh to enhance it for 3D printing. Okay, so before giving the demo, I will review some uh, scanning tips. Uh, bright colored objects uh, with a matte finish will scan the best when using the sense. If the object does not meet this material requirement, you can dust the object with a talc powder to enhance the scannability of the object, as shown with the vehicle image below. So long as the object is larger than eight inches, you shouldn't have any problems scanning the object. Um, if it is smaller than eight inches, we have developed a proprietary tracking pattern for the sense to improve the scanning experience for these types of objects. The sense will identify key points on the 2D pattern to maintain the tracking around the full, the full 3D object. Since the tracking technology used in sense is geometry based, certain objects such as revolves can be captured using the track, track assist function or by placing on target objects around the model to improve the alignment of each scan pass. This is also true with large flat surfaces as well. In the image below, sphere targets are used to assist with tracking the geometry of the vehicle's A pillar. Okay, this next section will show a brief demo on scanning with the Sense 2, then import that data into our Geomagic Wrap software to prepare the mesh to send to a CNC machine to create a conversational desktop piece. Um, once you've identified the object as suitable for scanning, the next thing you'll want to do is to make sure you can freely move around the object and to capture all the data. As you move about the object, you'll want to move as slowly and steadily as you can to ensure that the tracking can keep up with the movement to properly align the scan data as it's being collected. You'll want to maintain a distance of 14, meter, 14 inches from the object as you move around uh, if, and if you should move too fast or too slow, or if you're too close or too far away, uh, there are software prompts in the UI that will help guide you along the way. And if you notice in the real-time video there on the lower right, um, the scanner is constantly being positioned uh, perpendicular to the object to properly capture the data while the operator is able to maintain a view of his tablet screen at all times. Um, when you're done scanning, you're immediately put into the editing mode uh, so you can clean up the, the mesh data as needed uh, to prepare for whatever downstream processes you might have. Uh, since the Sense was designed to be a scan to print application, there are sufficient tools in the software that the user can use uh, to complete a watertight mesh ready for 3D printing. And all of these commands work just as well with a mouse as they do with um, a touchscreen tablet. Now that the mesh is ready, we'll import the data into RAP, quickly convert the mesh to a CAD model to send to a CNC operator. The first step in RAP is to align the data to the world so we can prep it for machining. Features are easily created to properly align the model to the world origin. So this, this first feature that we created is a symmetry plane down the middle of the object. And then this next plane here at the bottom we'll use to align to the XY plane at the world origin. 
And because I can tell that the XY plane and the plane number two will align upside down, I'll align these two first so I can reverse the direction. And then once it is aligned, I can uh, flip the alignment order so that the table leg will sit vertical on our tabletop. Now that the leg is aligned, we'll use the XY plane again to trim the table leg to just the claw and to give the claw a flat bottom to sit on the tabletop. And I'm choosing just the claw because that's much cooler uh, out of this whole part than the entire leg uh, for a conversational piece. And as you can see, this is very quick and easy to do in this software. And like that, we are done. So the next step before uh, surfacing the model, we'll need to smooth the data a bit further. Uh, so I turned off the texture map so I can see any errors on the, the mesh that need to be edited. Uh, so I'm using a couple commands here to smooth out the data a little bit further. And then I'll target in on certain areas and hit that area pretty aggressively to smooth it out even further. And I'm doing this so that the uh, CNC machine does not pick up on all this fine detail uh, when the model is converted to a CAD surface. So the next step is auto surface. And now that the data has been prepared to my liking, um, it's ready to be converted to a NURBS model. And here, all you need to do is just adjust these settings um, in the dialog tab. And then all you gotta do is just sit back and sip on your coffee while the software does its magic. And if the data is prepped properly, this should only take just a few minutes to complete. Uh, but since this model is so simple and so small, it only takes a few seconds. And as always, at the end, it's good to check the results model to see how closely it matches the original data. And as you can see with this model, it's pretty spot on and ready to send to the CNC machine. Okay, so I hope you found that demo interesting and informative on how to use the sense and how it can be used with other applications. Um, so that video uh, or a version of that video will be hosted online as well as included in the webinar recording, which we'll also host online as well after after the webinar. Uh, so now we'll open up the floor for questions and can't, uh, comments. And the first question we have is, will the Sense run on a Mac? The most current system requirements for the Sense can be found on our website under the Sense pages. However, uh, to answer the question directly, uh, the Sense 2 is supported on Windows 8 and Windows 10 devices only. Um, when we released the Sense 2, our Mac and iOS user base was less than 5%. So we made a business decision to focus our engineering efforts to support only Windows 8 and Windows 10 devices at that time. Uh, a suggestion I can make is to submit an email to desktop support at 3dsystems.com and make a request to support Mac-based platforms. This request will make its way back to our development team where we can then track the level of interest for uh, this platform and any other uh, feature requests that might be provided from our users. Um, the next question is, can objects larger than 36 inches be scanned? The maximum scan volume that can be collected by the scanner is two meters cubed. Um, if your model is larger than this, what you'll need to do is scan the object in sections and then import the scans into another application, such as Geomagic Wrap, to align and merge the scans together. Uh, the next question is, can you align multiple scans together in the Sense software? Uh, again, you'll need additional software to, like Geomagic Wrap to align multiple scans. Um, what I assume these questions are centered around is the need to rotate your part during the scanning uh, process uh, to capture different areas uh, of the part. A, a cool trick you can do in, in the Sense software is when you're done scanning one area of the model, you can hit the pause button on the left-hand side um, and, and pause the scan, then you can rotate the object 
to another section and then you can resume the scanning. And as long as you pause and then restart the scan at the same spot, uh, you shouldn't have any problems realigning the scanner to the model. And in doing this, you can get a full 360 scan of a single part and, and not need another software to align all the data. Uh, next question, are there plans to improve the sense? Uh, so this is really a, a two-part question. And the first part involves the sense software. We will be making incremental improvements to the Sense software in the coming months with a major improvement by the end of 2019. Additionally, we will be looking at software upgrade offerings for those individuals who need more functionality than what we offer in the base package for Sense. And the second part of the question involves the Sense hardware. Um, we will be expanding the, the Sense product line to offer improved performance and functionality at specific price points uh, to meet the needs of the prosumer market. So essentially we'll offer a, a good, better, and best version of the Sense uh, with segmented functionality at each performance level and each offering. Um, so yes, uh, more exciting things to, to come with Sense in the future. Uh, next question, will there be any webinars for advanced scanning tips? Uh, yes, there will be regularly scheduled webinars in the future, as well as more online content for advanced scanning tips. Uh, as I've mentioned before, we are committed to the advancement of our scanning products. Online user resource, resources is part of this commitment. Uh, there are some videos already available on the website at softwaresupport.3dsystems.com. Um, as we continue to flesh out these videos, you will see more videos on complete workflows, uh, scanning tips and tricks, uh, new functionality, as well as troubleshooting guides on that site. Uh, as I mentioned before, this webinar and all future webinars will be hosted on our main website for future use. Uh, next question, is there educational pricing for Sense? Uh, no, the, the price point for the Sense is pretty palatable for this hardware and software package. Uh, we have noticed that the many EDU entities are in dire need of accessing technologies that can teach new skills to be used uh, by the students in the real world. Uh, our Sense scanner and Sculpt software work amazingly well together. Uh, we've had some real successes reaching students uh, creative imagination using the Sense, coupled with our haptic devices and our sculpting software uh, all across the, the globe. And as you just saw, uh, the Sense works seamlessly well uh, with our wrap software. Um, and, and this is really just the tip of the iceberg of what we can do when we combine our technologies together. Uh, so we are evaluating bundling Sense with some of our other hardware and software uh, products at, at a targeted price point uh, specifically for the EDU market. Uh, next question, what's the accuracy of the Sense? Uh, in testing scenarios, I have gotten the accuracy as tight as 0.8 millimeters from half a meter away. Uh, but again, this is a very controlled environment with a very controlled um, scanning process. With that in mind, the, the scanning technology used to process the scan data in real time uh, makes it really difficult to produce that number consistently. Uh, so consistently, I, I can say that we can achieve a one millimeter accuracy from half a millimeter away. But I, I, I should caution that scan, the scanning condition plays a huge role in determining the scanning results. And if you should need additional specs on the device, uh, you can find all that information on the, the website as well. And, and the next question, uh, what's the difference between the Sense 1 and the Sense 2? Uh, the Sense 1 seemed to be a more robust scanner. Um, yeah, so there, there are different technologies used within the two devices. Um, for starters, the Sense 1 is a long-range scanner, whereas the Sense 2 is a short-range scanner. Uh, this means you do not have to stand as far away from your object with the Sense 2 as you did uh, with the Sense 1. And, and this makes it much easier to move around your object and while you're scanning and not bump into any peripherals that might, might be in your way. 
Um, the Sense 2 also offers a denser set of collected points to improve the scan quality during the during scanning. Um, and you can visually see the difference between the Sense 1 and the Sense 2 data quality when you um, put the two side by side. Uh, there is also a, an HD sensor on board the Sense 2, which provides unparalleled texture maps when you compare it back to the Sense 1. Um, and, and another major improvement with the Sense 2 is that there was some tracking software developed specifically for the sort range scanner uh, to improve the tracking capabilities of the Sense. Um, However, uh, because the Sense2 is a short-range scanner, this does make scanning larger objects a bit challenging. Uh, but what I, as I showed with the uh, scanning tips and tricks, you can put objects around uh, the part that you're scanning. You can also use tooling balls as sphere targets. Uh, so the software identifies these parts and um, can keep up with the tracking much better than it could at, with a short-range scanner being so close to the, to the object. Okay, that's about all the time we have for today. If you have any further questions, please feel free to email desktop support at 3dsystems.com and one of our tech support specialists will be happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, please be on the lookout for more webinars and videos from us uh, to learn more about new opportunities with Sense as well as new functionalities uh, with our scanning products. In closing, we'd like to thank everyone for attending this webinar. Uh, we hope you found it informative. And as a token of appreciation, we will be sending a follow-up email to all attendees with an opportunity to receive a discount on your next purchase of Sense. Thanks, everyone.